Hey guys, Purely Awesome Keeper here, and today we have, yep, that's right, another awesome unboxing. Okay, okay, so you know what comes next, right? Yep. I attempt to open the package. Wah, wah. Okay. Not much progress has been made. Something terrible happened to this package. Something that ought not be shown on screen. Alright. Yay! It's been opened. You can see them in there. They're in there. Eee! I have now discarded that package as we have no further use for it. Anyway, here is everything that was in the package. So we have, of course, the beautiful new business card, which, by the way, it really is very cool. It says, Cubicle Labs, How to Solve, it's a barcode that you can scan, I guess, and then Cubicle Pro Shop, which is awesome. Then we got some DNM37 from Cubicle Labs. Uh, I've been waiting for this forever. It's... I've heard great things about it, so, yeah. And then finally, the white box. What is in the white box? Well, I can only hope that it's the Valk M. Um, yes, it's my first Cubicle Labs product. I know I'm a little late. Uh, well, this is from Cubicle Labs too, but got them at the same time, so yeah. Um, but I'm still very excited for this. Mm -hmm. The white box just makes it that much cooler. Anyway, all right, let's... A hop into this. We are, of course, going to look at the Volk M first. So, we've got the beautiful white box here, which I hope to be able to save. Ooh, oh my, something's falling out of it. Receipt, that's nice. <laughs> um, you know, you like the receipts, but you want the, the products more. Okay, there we go. Just a tiny rip. <gasps> Glorious. All right, so I got the um, the full fitted stickers on this one, but it's still my color scheme with ocean blue, fluorescent green, fluorescent bright orange, light purple, yellow, and white. Yes, got it. <laughs> All right, look at that though. Um, you guys, if you don't have Cubicle Labs products, I'd totally recommend them, and I haven't even tried them yet, but I can tell you that they're probably awesome, and you'll find out if you skip to the end of this video or or you keep watching. Uh, that they are awesome because I'm making a prediction that this is going to be really good. Anyway, first of all, that logo. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, and yeah, I thought the full fitted stickers would look nice on it. And they do indeed. Uh, let's shed the plastic. Goodbye, plastic. We don't like you. Arrgh! Okay, I've recovered from my incident. The plastic, however, has unfortunately not. Mm. Okay, so here we got the cube, and let's, I am so excited for this. It's uh, it's premium too, done by the pro shop now, I guess, right? So let's get right on to first turns. Oh my gosh, I can feel the magnets in there. This is amazing. Oh, wow, that is so different than I thought it would be like. <laughs> Everyone probably says that, right? But, really, it is. Like, I have my magnetic Gantt Air, and I know people have said that it's different than the Cubicle Labs cubes, but <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really, I couldn't really imagine what it would be like until you uh, tried it. Wow, just, the magnets work so well, it's crazy. The middle layers, uh, yeah, I guess they're a bit harder to turn, but not that much harder. Like, this is really good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just rambling on now, but really, this is a really good cube. It, the magnets help line up. The premium work, of course, is awesome. <laughs> How could it not be? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say. <clears throat> the corner cutting is fantastic, as expected, of course, right? This is awesome. 
And I'm going to be doing like a million solves on this. <laughs> if you didn't know, I, I do have an officially diagnosed cubing addiction. So, there's that. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, yes. If you don't have this cube, which you should have it. If you don't, if you don't have it by now. I mean, I didn't have it until now, and there was something wrong with me. Now there's still something wrong with me, but it's not related. Um, if you don't have this, you you should have it. <laughs> it this is amazing. I, I mean, I know the, the price is high, but it's totally worth it. <laughs> I mean, people might say that, it, oh, it's just another cube, but it has magnets in it. It's way overpriced. But I can tell you, this is amazing. And even the M slices, they're not bad. They might be a bit harder to turn than a cube without magnets, but any cube, even the outer layers, are harder to turn than a cube without magnets, although it's not really noticeable, which is very interesting. Like, when you're going fast, you really can't tell that there are magnets in there. Like, with the Ganzera, you can still kind of feel them, and that's part of what I like about it. Although this I really like, too, because, number one, you can just feel that, that click in there. It has a nice tactile feel. And this, it feels kind of more like ball bearings than, like, a soft stuff of magnets, like in the, uh, the X-Man Bell Pyraminx, or, yes, in the Gans Air UM. But, <laughs> whatever the case, this thing is amazing, and I expect it to perform great, just as it is now, especially after breaking in. Oh, I really love this thing. Alright. I should probably put it down now, so I don't get too much of it. <laughs> uh, that didn't make sense. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's not much else to say. It's just an awesome cube. You should you should get it. It is expensive, but it is worth it. And I can tell you that right now. Although I almost surely will have a review out. I can't promise that it'll be soon. I have a lot going on with school and everything. But I just had to do this unboxing, so. Yeah, that is the Valk M. Now, let's take a quick look at DNM 37. Alright, so here we go. I've got my Moyu Aosu here, stickerless, of course. This has always been a nice cube. I've had it for a while, though. And it's kind of slow, so um, I'm going to try some DNM 37 on it. Um, if you don't know much about this, it's basically a water-based lube, just like Maru Lube is, or Z-Lube, if you've heard of that one, that is supposed to last a ton longer, and I think the Cubicle has a video on their channel showing how it lasts so much longer than Maru Lube or anything else. So, hopefully, this is going to go well. Uh, I did the same sort of thing with the Gans 357 when I got Lube Gold Silk, and that turned out pretty good, so... Let's see, I think it says two drops, right? Put two drops in puzzle. Break in. Buckle up because things are about to get fast. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, here we go. One drop. And it's got a weird blue color, which is kind of cool. Two drops. Oh boy. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> okay. Here. Three drops. That's better. Okay. Now, have another paper towel here somewhere. I'm just gonna wrap it up in that. Okay, there you go. Ouch. Beautiful. More beautiful than before. Okay. This is kind of what I always do. Don't judge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty much done this, but I'm just doing it because it's funny. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now, screw that back on so you don't have any spills. Let's try and turn this and move it around. Okay. So, I don't know if this is supposed to make it smoother or just faster. Um, and it probably works just as well in 3x3s. I just wanted to try it on a big cube because it would be something different. Oh yeah, I can definitely tell a difference there 
between the sides that I put it in and the sides that I didn't put it in. Because the sides that I put it in all of a sudden are pretty easier to turn. A lot easier to turn. Huh. Middle layers. I mean, it's still kind of a heavy cube, the Aosu, so it's not going to get lighter, but it will, it should make it faster just by reducing friction in the cube. So, wow, that is, that's very nice. I'm going to have to experiment with some 3x3s, but this first experiment, you could say, turned out pretty well. Um, dear. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much all I have for you today. So here is just a little wrap up to this epic unboxing, right? We got the DNM 37, which you just saw with the Aosu and everything. And of course, the glorious uh, Volk M, which is amazing, by the way. And how could we forget the business card? Oh, and of course, the white box, right? It's beautiful. All right. Um, yeah, so let's just misaligned a bit. Um, that is all I have for you today. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.